ready for this? Uh, no, but sure. Hello everybody and welcome to this weird video that we're making. Uh, we're going to build a PC today. It's going to be all parts, well mostly parts, that have been provided thanks to the, the happy people that watch us on the, the Twitches and uh, all the, the subscribers and uh, I got lots of parts around here somewhere. There's insert B-roll footage over here. Um, and we're gonna get we're gonna get them all together. Hopefully they'll work. I got some tools here. I got my tweezers. I got my uh, thing. Hopefully it's got a pocket knife um, uh, and some other stuff we might need uh, through the rest of the thing. I'm sure we've got everything covered, but let's get started with something important, probably the motherboard or something like that. Let's have a look. Ta-da! Here is a motherboard. So get back. Why this motherboard? It's rectangular. Comes in a nice box. Uh, why did I choose this motherboard? Well, it's got like fancy clockworks. Uh, that's important in a modern PC. Uh, other features like the PCIe Gen 4, so I can get some sweet hard drives and maybe I can open this thing even. And we can have a look inside and the box actually opens that way. Arg. See, look at all them fancy computer bits. What do they even do? But let's get it out of the box. What's in the box? In the box. What's in the box today? Uh, That's my, probably copyrighted. My, <laughs> it is. We've been copyright struck down already. Uh, get the styrofoam out of here. I think this whole thing comes out. And then all the goodies are down here. Oh man, hopefully uh, Splitsy will help me in figuring out what they'll do, because there's a lot of them. Uh, we've got all our documentations. I've seen the pros. They like to use their big old motherboard box as a, uh, a working surface while they're putting everything on the motherboard. Oh man, I knew I forgot something. I need some snippy snips. I think I got some wire cutters somewhere to cut off these cable ties. Oh. Uh, yes, you do. I think they're even orange. Uh, oh. no, those are pliers. They don't have cutting bits on them? Uh, I mean, I don't... I think they do. Hold on, I got, I got something, I got something to do some chopping over here. What? It's, it's fine. Um... Uh... What? Uh, um, I, I mean, I guess... I guess I could. All right, I'll put this away. I'll save that for later. Get us demonetized for weapons. Okay, this is not super effective. I might use this instead. Isn't that wire? Or is it plastic? It's just cable ties. Spin that around. Uh, for those of you unaware, um, we are in Australia and it is very, very warm. And definitely fingers. No new clones in this one. This one. Yeah, I'm more worried about clones of the motherboard at this point. Oh, can I extricate it from the cable tie? There we go. And ta da! Unboxing complete. I will peel off this little bit of plastic. Now we've got our motherboard. Uh, we'll get some other bits, like uh, maybe a CPU. I think I got one of those. Got one of them fancy Ryzen ones. Ta-da! And probably do some, some memorizing. Thanks, Sajin, for the Ryzen. Oh, yep. Extra special thanks to Sajin for this one. Thank you for sending that our way. We greatly appreciate it. Um, hopefully I won't destroy it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's hope you don't break anything today. Yeah, that would really put a damper on things, I think. Uh, so I guess we'll pop open this little processor fella. Uh, always cut away from yourself. That's important advice. Cut towards Splitsy. <laughs> nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. Nothing just happened. This is not, not a terrible, <laughs> terrible chain of events. <laughs> we got some more documentation. That's okay. good. Okay, my <laughs> earlier thumbs down just got even more down. Um, 
No, don't. You gotta like the video, not thumbs down the video. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up the video, thumbs down the cap app. Uh, that's all just. Popping the CPU. This is the default cooler. We don't really need that. Might be Why handy. Why don't you need that, Captain? Because I've got a big, big old... Because you got a fancy one! Ah, well, yeah, I was reaching for it, and then he went down there with the other camera. I got this one. Yeah. Um, we'll worry about that in a bit. That's too big. And we're just pretending that that light up there doesn't exist. Um, sure. I sure am. Um, so we got our little CPU that I totally didn't throw at the motherboard earlier. We got got this little fella here. I'm gonna lift up this little arm, and then it's ready to put the processor in. Oh, and we're gonna match up this little triangle here to the matching triangle here. That should just drop into place like that, and then you just. Flip the little arm down, and it's locked in place. You didn't even throw it anywhere. Perfect. No one saw anything. Now, like I said, this cooler's pretty big. I mean, this has even more plastic on it. How many plastics can there be? I don't know, I'll worry about it later. All right, because the cooler's real big. I'm going to put the, the RAM in now, because uh, that'll make it a bit easier. That's... Pop that open, not throw it at the motherboard. Oh. So how much RAM did you end up getting, Cabo? I got four sticks, count them, one, two, three, four, uh, of eight gigabyte RAM. So 32 overall. So that's a four channel? Yes. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, we'll see if we can extricate it from its imprisonment. So with your RAMs, you want to unclip those fellas and you want to put them in and then they should with a little bit of firm grasping uh, click into place i believe capac that's called pushing yes there we go g skill trident z pro huh? z neo. Oh, neo like in the matrix uh it'd help if i wasn't trying to read it off the back of my cam my phone <laughs> Comment down below if you're excited for the new Matrix movie. I'm not sure what to think, to be honest. All right. So now our RAM's seated. Get these little bits of fluff off there. And now we've got to mount this ridiculous fella. Oh, what am I going to do with all these stickers? All righty. Um, yeah, this fella. We're going to stick him right on top of the CPU. Don't you need to put something on the CPU before you put the cooler on? Uh, yeah, but we're going to get it all out of the box and ready to go first. I think this thing almost weighs as much as the motherboard does. Yeah, probably weighs more. Uh, but of course, the best thing about this cooler is it comes with this sweet screwdriver. So now we've got two. That means we can do twice as many computers. And... I thought you were going to say something different then. Uh, well, uh, we wouldn't want to get demonetized now, would we? No. Nope. All that. Do what you're doing with the rest of the time. Just throw it on the floor. Look, I, I placed it gently. <laughs> now this fella, we need to make sure that we want to orient it this way. But yeah, I think this fan on the side here is going to be colliding a bit with the memory. I'm just going to come on up, up and away. I am flummoxed. You need some splitsy intervention. Possibly. Or something very small and pointy. Oh no. We got Splitzy coming in. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. See? You just needed me. Alright. Is that going to play nice now? Whew. That is very close. But it should do the trick. Yeah, we'll worry about the fan later. Uh, first we might... Oh, okay. So those are... Protect the fan and they're all sticky! Why are they sticky? They're just gonna melt. I'm gonna get this it worries me when you ask the question of why is it sticky. <laughs> See, we've got the big center fan. That's the important one. Do you know which one's which? Is there any difference? 
yeah, the, the center fan is a 140 millimeter that's real big. Uh, the other one's a 120. So we're going to get this guy in here, and that's going to involve figuring out how to install this thing. So uh, I might consult some of these manuals and we'll be right back. Uh, now it's time to apply a thermal paste. Thermal paste is very important. You want a good, you want a good contact between the CPU and the cooler. So it transfers all the heat through. And so you want to get a nice even layer of the thermal paste. Um, you know, give it a bit of a try first. Go back. Mm. <laughs> what did you just do? Mm, tastes um, silvery. What? Um, don't try this at home, kids. It's dangerous. What? What? Um, all right, I'm going to put this over here. And <laughs> we really apply the thermal paste. What do they suggest? So thermal paste applied is not suitable for human consumption. Well, I guess we got that part wrong. Uh, if swallow, drink lots of water and seek medical attention. Uh, I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Okay. Now, drink lots of water. Um, maybe available on Linus Tech Tips store. Maybe not. All right. So I guess I'm going to apply just a big old blob of thermal paste. And there's not a whole lot in here. So I guess they're intending you to use the whole lot. It's meant to have a thin, even layer. Yeah, but there's like hardly any in here. Attention. Yeah, it's it. the tension is in my hand. Look at it shaking. I'm putting a lot of pressure in this. Oh, it's grey. It is. It tastes good too. Ah, that should do fine. Make sure it's oriented the right way. We want to apply a nice even pressure. So hopefully that spreads the cooling paste out a bit. It sort of feels like it's floating a bit, which is probably what you want. Yeah, it should be fine. If it's not, we'll find out soon enough. Oh, it's rocking all over the place. And this, this is why they give you the super long screwdriver. Because you got to take off these little caps and they let you put the screwdriver through all the way down to the mounting gear at the bottom. Now you just want to do it loosely to begin with and do both sides. Because if you do like one side and you tighten it up heaps, uh, it'll be all like uneven pressure, you don't want uneven pressure. Mm -hmm. Tighten it a little bit on this side. And a little bit on this side. Oh man, I totally forgot. I could have done some Shadowversity joke when I had the katana before. <coughs> <laughs> That's how they did the original series anyway. The time has come and gone. All right, so then you, yeah, so then that's bolted down. So then all you got to do is put the little caps back in to match the top. So it all looks nice. Uh, and then you got to install the fans somehow. I didn't read up to that part. <laughs> <laughs> Still tasting that thermal paste, huh? Yep. We got the cooler. It's very cool. Um, we left one of the fans off because uh, it was blocking the view of the RAM, but this cooler should be fine with the the big fan in it, especially for the, the processor that we're using. So that's no big deal. I can always add the other fan later. What I neglected to remember was that I need to remove this whole like big plate on the motherboard so that I can get the M.2 drives in. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue now that I got this massive cooler on here. Fingers uh, crossed. Fingers crossed indeed. So they provide this special screwdriver because they use special screws for some reason. I guess they look more uh, mechanical, I guess. Oh. There we go. Uh, so we need uh, M.2 drives. Here are some I prepared earlier. Let's pop these fellas open and not cut ourselves to ribbons. Blood and motherboards don't go well together. Oh man. It's tiny. I never used one of these before. Does that have a heatsink on it that you're going to have to remove? Yes. But the choices for PCIe for M.2 NVMEs. Man, there's so many letters and numbers in the names of these things. It is impossible. 
Right, so we're going to have to pop these guys out of their heat sink shells, and then we can eat them like delicious crabs. Uh, yeah, so uh, you put it in here like that, sort of, and then it goes down like that, and then you screw it into place. Is your be quiet screwdriver small enough? Oh, I don't, don't think so. Nope. Okay, I will go get you a screwdriver. It is too large. Don't hear that every day. <laughs> no, no, yeah, there we go. Do I have to get unscrew this one? Oh no, I may have to consult the bones again. Hold on, that doesn't seem right. Well, definitely never getting those back. What back? <laughs> those drives <laughs> never coming out. Like you ran. There we go. That was a rare appearance by Splitzy. <laughs> I have magical hands. That's right. I know. I know. There's a lot of you out there that want to see Splitzy, and you'll probably see him someday. Um, the more shows we go to, the more likely it is that you'll see his face. <laughs> yep. And you know, one of these days he'll. Uh, He'll make the news for his notorious murder spree, but we'll just have to wait for that. You'll, you know that there'll be one person who won't witness that. It's that man. That's right. Because he'll be victim number one. One of my clones will see. Um, yeah, okay. So that's all squared away now. I guess we could probably put it in the case. Yeah. I also got this here big case thing. Oh. Uh, this is going to be an adventure. I oh, didn't go see a katana again. Uh, well. We already did that gag, Splitzy. Box open. We got an accessory kit. That's probably full of useful bits and pieces. Uh-oh. Gag! Ah, uh, success. So we got some nice styrofoam pads. And I've got... No arms left, and probably lots of nice styrofoamy crunchy noises on the audio recording. There we go. We've got a thing. Is that down? That is down. Okay, so in here. Aha! Ta da! Ooh. Look, it's all. Uh, white and black and it's got bits of tape on it and we're going to put that computer we just semi-assembled in here. Now we've got to start pulling this apart to uh, so we can get all the stuff in it. The sides actually come off on these cool hinges. So here's what everybody wants to see. The cool cable management side of things. Oh man, that's a bit stiff. Come on, come on. Oh. Yeah, one of the reasons I got this case is because it's got all this sweet soundproof foam and seals and things to make it all nice and quiet. Because Splitzy gets real mad when there's stuff on the recording that's not supposed to be. Yes, I do. We're going to remove the default fans because I've got some new fans to put in. Yeah, and why are they quieter? Because that's in their name. <laughs> One day maybe we'll get sponsored by them because we have so much of their stuff. Look, we, we don't talk about that. <laughs> we let them come to us. And uh, we try not to step through things with the screwdriver. I think we can cut ahead to when I've done all this case prep, probably. <laughs>
there. And that just fits. And that should be it. You're done? I think so. Yeah? <laughs> All right, I need to put the top panel on because it's got the power boot on. And this needs to go on the front. That should be it. I got my power button. You got your power button. Now you need a keyboard, mouse, and a screen. All right. Some power from the wall. Uh, yeah, let's clear away some of these bits. And we'll get that sorted and come back in a second. Yeah? Yep. Okay, so we've finished our exhausting time lapse. We've got a mostly built PC here for the most part. Uh, now it's time to boot it up. Hopefully it'll come up on this monitor here and then we'll install some windows. So I'm gonna press this button here on the power supply to turn it on and I'm gonna power it on up the top here and we'll see how it goes. Power on and power on. Oh, oh no, ah, what? Ah, uh, no, no, this is very bad. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Oh, oh. All I did was hand you fans. Oh. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna put up a thing on my Twitch that says I need a new computer and we're gonna raise some money and we're gonna get a new PC <laughs> um, and everything will be fine. Um, yeah. uh, Great success. Um, do you need a copy of Windows 10, Splitzy? Um, it looks like I'm not gonna be using it for a while. Oh well, see you next time everybody. Okay, so we're back um, after a bit of a bit of fun with the fire extinguisher and talking to the fire department. We sorted out all our smoke problems, and as you can see, everything's up and running. We've got a window over here, and we got some shiny RGB lights with some plastic in front of it. Yep, yep. We got one thing left to do. Nobody wants to miss miss this part, so I'm gonna peel off the horrible, horrible plastic. Get out of here. Done. We got a new PC. Uh, yeah. So, gonna be doing some more streams, doing some more videos, and you guys will be seeing that all soon. Um, of course, the first video is gonna be this video. That's gonna be a nightmare. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, you can put it in the comments below how it's gone. Um, yeah, that'll be great. And yeah, so. We're done.